Hi and welcome to one of the two from the Golden Ribbon. Today we're looking at the color explosion tutorial in Blender. So we have our background and my colors on my right hand side. I press 7 on the numpad, then hit Ctrl Alt and 0 on the numpad to fix the camera to that viewpoint. So let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and create a circle. So go to Add, Curve and Circle in the 3D file menu or you can hit Shift and A. Good. Then we're going to just go ahead and position that circle. Let me delete this or just move this to 2. Good. So it's press Z so I can see this circle and G and Z to move up. Good. So we're going to press Tab and we see that this is indeed a curve. So what we need to do first, we're going to just go ahead and press V. And V is going to allow us to set the handle type and we want it to be free. Good, so with that set, we're going to go and select the lower vertice. Then we're going to hit Shift and S, and that is our snap tool. And we're going to snap the cursor to the selected vertice. So we see now our cursors in the selected vertice. Good, with the selected vertice. And then we're going to go to our, then we're going to go to object mode and go to object, transform origin to center the 3d cursor sorry oh didn't set it okay let's go again shift s cursor to selected then press tab then go to object transform and 3d cursor good because we want it to scale from this point good with that set what we're going to do here is that we are going to go to our properties editor then go to our curve um, drop down box our curve panel. I'm going to select 2D here on the shape and then we're going to go to shape keys press tab to make sure we're edit mode and we're going to add three shape keys. The first one we're going to call that first key collapse good and we're going to call the second key random All right, so we have collapse and we have random. Good, so for the collapse, we need to add, we need to make sure that the, ver the vertical um, position of this vertice is the same as this one at the top. So we're gonna go ahead and pull open this box here to the right. You'll see this plus button and you just pull it up. Good, and we're gonna change the control point here for the Vertical position the control point is 2 so it's gonna hit Control and C to copy it and we're gonna paste that control point value here Good Make sure collapse is selected and we're gonna do so for the handles too So we want this handle position to be where this handle is here vertically. So we're gonna select this one here Copy the value on the y-axis Select this handle value down here and paste that value. We're gonna do the same here and paste good and we have a collapse and we see it just collapses nicely but it's a bit too perfect of a collapse so we need to add a bit of randomness to it so we're going to move on to the random now make sure that we go down to blend and set the blend to collapse good and that's going to move the morph from the collapse versus the basis and that is important then we're going to select the vertical bottom vertice and we're just going to pull it up good and we're just going to play about with it with the vertices a bit just make it a bit more jagged and place it here great and that will add some randomness to the collapse great Right, so we see it had some randomness to the collapse. So let's go ahead and bring this to zero. And let's bring this down here. And we're going to move into next into animating this. So let's go ahead and move to zero. And we're going to have go to our object panel in the properties editor and we're going to edit the scale. So we're going to move to frame five. In fact, let's move to frame eight and just insert this keyframe here. Go back to frame zero and 
make it zero good and if we play it with alt a we can see that it scales up good and then somewhere at around frame five we want to start to input our collapse good and end it at the frame 12 so we can see we have a nice explosion there but the explosion is a little bit perfect so we're gonna have to go ahead and add some randomness to it let's go ahead and make it a bit more jagged so around here good we want this to be one about here and about here make it zero and then here now going to make it zero good so it adds a little bit of randomness to it and let's go ahead and just go to the random keyframe here and push this down a bit All right so we have a bit of randomness in the circle explosion great so we have our randomness and it scales up we're going to go ahead and go to our graph editor and we're going to open up the graph editor good and we want the collapse and the random to be quadric ease out so we're gonna go down to f curve on our right hand side and make sure that the channel that you want to change the interpolation for is selected and we're going to go to interpolation and we're going to select quadric and we're going to ease it out good next we're just going to go ahead and move the random down here and see what that gives us oh it's a bit far sorry that's the collapse okay so we're going to move the random to the collapse I'm going to make this quadric also and ease out. Good. Yeah, and that's important because we want every other um, explosion to have that ease out effect. So let's go back to the dope sheet, select all of these keyframes, scale it out a little bit so we have this. Fact, let's scale it in a bit the explosion so what we're going to do here we're going to duplicate this three times Control D and just rotate it Control D and just rotate it good and we're just going to shift them a little bit good so come out together good and we're just going to stagger each one so let's move this out a bit let's stagger and let's move this out even further stagger so one two and three this can go up a bit more right so that's what we're looking so we're getting this similar to this getting this nice explosion effect right here good all coming from the same spot great good so for this initial explosion we're gonna make the first one that explodes white it's going to link it to the white here materials and then we're going to make the second one that explodes this green this um, yellow green here and we're going to make the third one that explodes this blue or this green right here materials good so oh this is this one should have been the green sorry let's take the materials and make this white good one two three right so we've got our nice start to our explosion so all we have to do is make the external clouds and we'll be finished so let's go ahead and pick one of these let's pick the last one which is the green to come up and let's duplicate that and let's just rotate it here 
and this is going to be the first of our outside clouds. Let's move the keyframe out of it. Good. Right now, where it is, it's looking good in terms of how the cloud explode looks, but it's not coming out of the original place where the explosions are happening. So we need to move to do something to see that it extends out from that position. So the first thing we're going to do is delete the scale keyframes. It's going to go ahead and clear the scale keyframes. Good. So we only have the collapse. Good. Next, we're going to go ahead and go shift and A, and we're going to create an empty, which is a sphere. I'm going to bring it down around the center of the explosion, and we're going to create another empty, which is a cube and carry that down also. Good. Let's go ahead and push this down a bit, our background, scale it up. And let's reduce the size of these. And I'm just going to hit Shift, Control and A, and we're going to apply the scale. And Control and A, we're going to apply the scale. So that sets the scale back to default values. Okay, so we've applied it, and that was Control and A, in case you missed it, to apply the position. So now that we've applied it, we're going to go ahead and just move this out just a tad bit more. And we're going to link, or we're going to parent this circle to the sphere first. So we're going to hit Control and P, keep transformation. And then we're just going to go ahead and duplicate this, this uh, explosion, and duplicate it again. And each duplicate is parented to the sphere. And give them a little bit of space. Good. And we're also going to have to rotate them a bit. Good. And rotate them such that the origin point is at the tip of the parent and you can see the origin point here good so you want to rotate it like that and rotate it good and rotate it oh this was rotated already okay nice so we see right here we can see we have the basis of our cloud over here is a little wide. Let's see if we can bring this in a bit. Good, but this is the basis of our cloud. Good, I'm going to duplicate one more. But with this duplicate, R, yeah, we're just going to go and um, clear the parent. So we're going to hit Alt and P to clear the parent and keep the transformation. And instead, we're going to parent this to the box empty. Good, so we're going to duplicate these. Just going to duplicate this and move it up. Good, remember to rotate it. Duplicate and move it up. And, and duplicate it and move it up. Good, and this is these are controlled by the box. Good. All right, so we have these controlled by the box and these that are controlled by the sphere empty. Good, and if we scale up, we can see we have a nice poofy cloud going on here. Good. So with that done, we can move on to the next part of it. I'm not sure what this empty is for. Go ahead and delete that. Good. Now first up, we need to change the colors of some of these. Good. Which I think these are cur um, connected to something. Let's go ahead and press U. And we're going to make this material its own. And for this material, I'm just going to go ahead and 
link all the other materials to this so it's going to link to this material right here I'm going to hit control and L link materials for this material that was unlinked and we're going to change the color let's change it to this yellow for now and paste the hex good so all the yellow color changes and let's move this up a bit good so we have different variant colors here good and then what we want for the colors we want as they scale out we're going to want the color to change so we're going to just go ahead and yellow at this point insert a keyframe under the fuse color and you just right click to in and then insert keyframe and then we're going to add another key keyframe insert keyframe just right click and insert keyframe and for this keyframe we're just going to make everything turn to white good and then insert keyframe so replace keyframe good so it moves from white to yellow good and for these I'm gonna press U and make the material of this one independent and we're gonna link it all the colors to this material good and we're gonna do the exact same thing we want it to be white and then turn to the green so we're going to insert keyframe for the diffuse and we're going to right click and insert keyframe and that's part of the materials panel so each one is should be turning from white to green now oh let's set this to white place keyframes white to green and white to yellow great so let's get the empties involved now first thing you're going to do good at this point here we're going to insert keyframe for the scale of the empty and then here we're going to add another keyframe oops for the scale Good, let's carry it down a bit. And for this scale here, for the first one we're gonna make it zero. And replace these keyframes. Good, so that way you can see it scale up. Select all these keyframes here, drag them out. All right, then we have a nice scale up for these. Nice and smooth. Good, scale out a bit more. Good. So all you have to do now is sort of move the collapse and random a bit. See if we can scale this out a little bit. Good, and that looks very smooth. Yeah, that looks very smooth. And we're gonna do the same for the box here. I'm gonna go ahead and scale this up also. Good, the only thing is that we want the box to sort of scale up later than the sphere empty uh, insert keyframes and for this we're just going to make it zero okay keyframes and just extend these keyframes out One, 
two, three. Okay, let's bring it in a bit. All right, so it's gonna go ahead and select the collapse. Try and max, ma match the collapse of these with the scale. Good. And let's get the collapse to last a bit longer. Good, so the only thing now is that I need to match the scale and the collapse a bit better. Let's see if we can scale up. There we go. We can go up a little bit closer. Good, so let's go back to the collapse. And I mean, we're just gonna be playing about with this until we get the right look that we're looking for. Right, this does look pretty good. Excellent. Good. Now, the only thing that we need to move is that we want the white to be a bit earlier for each one of these. So let's go ahead and select these materials here. And let's move the white a bit earlier. Just wanna select one so we don't get confused. Let's move the white. But let's try it with two, see if we get a better return. Nope, I think that, that works. Okay, let's bring it back a bit more. Starts white and ends green. Yeah, this is about where we want it. Set the other two and do the same. So we want it to be at frame 12, okay. So let's let this one. And let's see if we can move this to, well, it looks like it's on frame 12. I'm forgetting that all of these materials are linked so it's going to affect everything anyway okay uh, let's bring this in a bit yes that's what I'm looking for good I'm gonna do the same for these let's select one material and bring this out a bit start some yellow yes Good, so everything's working here. So all we have to do now is just select some of these and make it and unlink them so that we can apply a couple of different colors. And let's unlink, say, you. Good, so let's use a different color. Let's use blue. Copy and let's set the color to blue good I think this is on link to set this to blue good and let's take some of these and let's use say this yellow here copy and for you guys and use the yellow What's happening? Oh, I didn't replace them. Ha, ah, use the yellow. Place keyframe. Let's come down here. Use the blue. Place keyframe. And, um, 
gets used to do here too. Or oh, that changes everything. Okay, let's use the blue up here then. Down. Right. First keyframe. Yes, use the blue here too. Yeah, let's use it. First keyframe. And but here, use a different color here. So how about we use the green here? And first keyframe. So that looks about good. Good, so the last thing we need for this explosion is some explosion lines. And I'm not gonna go through those because I have already taught her to do proper lines. You simply just have to place, put them in place. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add them. And let's go and just move it. And select you and let's move them to one. Good. Excellent. So we have our colorful explosion tutorial. If you enjoy the tutorial, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, be sure to ask. Have any suggestions, be sure to add them. You know, remember that for these, you need to append it. So you're gonna to go to file append from our last tutorial, from our pop line tutorial. Good. And you know, we can go ahead and just move some of these also. Good. A more synchronized pop. But if you enjoyed it too, please just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like. And if you feel to, you can share also. But until we see each other again for another tutorial, get up and design a new dawn. Later.